Nano Banana Pro is out and I'm sure you're excited to use it. So what I've got here is Artlist, a platform that I've been using for years for music. Well, recently they've added AI functionality. So we're talking about AI image, AI video, and AI voiceover. So they've integrated Nano Banana Pro so you can use it directly in here for the cheapest subscription I've seen that offers Nano Banana. You can get access to it for less than 10 bucks a month. So pretty crazy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about what this platform is, how to use it, and how to get started with it. So let's get right into it. So first, I'm gonna click AI image, and right up here, we're gonna have our prompt window. So this is where we can do text to image, image to image. And the best part about Artlist is, is actually the flexibility you have with models. So for text to image, you can do Nano Banana Pro, or Flux Pro Ultra, or for image to image, you've got Nano Banana, the original, C Dream 4, and Flux Context. So it's actually an aggregator that simplifies the whole Gemini experience. So instead of you having to like prompt and ask it what you want it to do, you can actually just click these buttons. So you've got your aspect ratio right here and the amount of images, which is nice because you can't do this directly in Gemini. So it's actually really nice to use this here. And you also have a prompt expander. So let's start off with some images. So let's say I want to design a, a luxurious bathroom, right? A luxurious bathroom. We'll say bronze fixtures, modern design, cozy lighting, and warm materials. I want to make sure I'm set to Nano Banana Pro. I want to set the aspect ratio. I've got landscape, portrait, or square. I'm going to keep it on landscape. And then the amount of images. As a designer, I want options and variation. So I'm going to go over and hit generate. So right now you'll see that this will cost me 1200 credits. So in the grand scheme of things, what does that mean? So right over here for 999, I'm getting 120,000 credits. Okay. So that's 1200 for three images. One image is 400. All right. So you can kind of uh, extrapolate right there how much use you're actually going to get out from this. So right now this plan is 40% off. So it makes sense to go after this instead of going into Gemini and setting up the API and everything. So what it's going to do is start loading these images, these fun little animations into my creations. Another benefit is like you actually have this in a nice organized manner. You can even put it into your own like project folder and everything. So that's really handy. And here we go. We've got that beautiful nano banana quality image. Look at that. I mean, this nailed the prompt. I don't know about the fireplace, but still very, very cool. Yeah, like this is pretty sick. Look at that. Yeah, it did the bronze fixtures, the warm materials, the cozy lighting. So spot on there. And if we wanted, we could upscale the image if we weren't already upscaled. But what I actually love about you know these types of aggregators, especially on Artlist, I can actually go straight here and hit animate. And this will move me over to image to video. So it's going to drop me in there and I can choose between Kling, Sora 2, Sora 2 Pro, Google VO3, Fast, and multiple other models. So I'm a big fan of VO3 just because I love the idea of it adding audio. So what I usually do is I do a slow dolly forward and dim the lights just because I really want to test it, right? And then I can animate that for 2000 credits. So I'll send that off. And the best part of this is I actually don't have to wait for it to bake. I can actually go and work on some other things. That's something that you can't do in Gemini where you're actually locked to that conversation. Like you can't exit it or then it's just going to pause. So again, working parallel is really nice as a designer because there's a lot of things you need to do and you don't want to wait around. So while that's baking, let's talk about what else you could do. Right over here where you see transform image, this will actually drop you right into the image to image editor. This is where you can drop more references, right? So with Nano Banana Pro, you can do up to 14 images, uh, which is pretty crazy. But here you can actually tell it, you know, what you want to do in terms of the design. So here I could say, change the shower wall tile to be white subway tile. You know, it's just something contrasty. And then it'll look at that image with the prompt and hopefully do what we're asking. All right, here's that video. There we go. We got our slow dolly zoom. And then you could upscale to 4K quality for free. So that's pretty sweet. And this is what I meant by project boards. So you could put it to an artboard and then I'll save it there. And then look at that. We got our subway tile and did a phenomenal job with like the masking and everything. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Like there's no details left behind. I actually did a really good job lining up the tiles there. Amazing. It's, it's. I, like I'm around this stuff all the time and like it still blows my mind that literally just like a couple years ago none of this was actually usable and now it's here it's like functional and presentable right and the accessibility part is actually really nice like I've I've been talking about these aggregators for so long I love it 
and the fact that I've been using Artlist for so many years, like all the the music and the jingles and the um, the motion graphics actually come right here. So you know, little little segue, but you know, there's this whole great music area. You can like play you know tracks to test them. You know, we've got a certain vibe to the channel, so it's like a good way for us to you know find the things we need. Um, you could just plug in the uh, the mood here. So we've been using that. You also have all the creative assets here. So you can get sound effects, footage, templates, lookup tables. Lookup tables are great because we use this for like renderings and animations. If you've never played with these, really cool. Think of them as like Instagram filters. So this is how you get that cinematic look. But anyways, let's let's get back to why we came here. AI images. So we're over here. Got my creations. Now that we talked a little bit about interiors, look at Let's talk about exterior design. So watch this. I could say Hampton style home, shingle style, navy blue door, and we'll say sunny day. And again, three images, because I love variation. And I'm gonna send those three off, but I wanna use the text enhancer. So I love these because, you know, I've got a global audience. I know English is in everyone's native language and people don't like writing prompts in general. So this will actually just expand the prompt. So you can go ahead and read this, but this will just make it, you know, padded, stronger. It'll be more, more realistic. So these are fantastic as is, but let's compare it to the expanded and see. So I'm gonna send two sets there and let's, let's take a look at these. So just like architecturally, it's actually like scary because now we've got like gutters and everything that are being like modeled and rendered properly. It's even got like the flying gable here and trim. I mean, it's, it's just crazy, but that's our Navy blue door, right? It's the sunny day, right? And you know, this is shingle style. It definitely, definitely nailed that. So here is the expanded prompt. So these look, these look just as nice, which is great. Um, definitely nailed everything that we we're looking for. So what I'd like to do here when I have the image is go back to that image to image editor. What I'm going to show you is like a typical workflow I deal with all the time. You know, clients want design options. I don't really have the time to like render it where they don't have the budget. So watch this. I could do transform image and now I'm going to remove the shower and here I can actually riff off of this further. So what happens is the clients will be like, Hey, can we use you know, a certain material or a certain color and see what it looks like. So now I can say charcoal roof shingles, right? And we could say light blue trim for columns and fascias and windows. All right, so we'll send that off. The other thing that's really impressive is it's much faster here than it is through Gemini. I don't know what it is, but these are like lightning fast and that's like less than five seconds and we got the image to image. So amazing that that's working so well, but check this out. We got our light blue trim. We got the charcoal roof, um, you know, just comparing it to this. It did everything we wanted. I didn't have to go into Photoshop. I didn't have to model anything. I didn't have to render anything like very quick. This comes up like every day. <laughs> so it's just like nice to have like a quick way to visualize it. Cause like, this is, this isn't what I want to spend my, you know, my design career doing, you know, just swapping on materials. I, I want to do more interesting things. So to be able to just kind of knock these things out really quickly, I'm a big fan of that. So another amazing workflow you could actually do is generate diagrams with legible text. So check this out. I'm going to transform this image and turn it into a diagram. So I'm going to say, add text and arrows explaining what each element is and check this out. Light wood dining table, black modern dining chairs, floral wall art. But look at this, this is all legible. This isn't like that crappy AI text we were getting like in the past. This looks like a full blown diagram. Now imagine if you had to do this manually. That's why this stuff is like really exciting because it could save you so much time. Like nobody likes doing this kind of stuff, you know, like, like manually. So for it to just be able to understand that, that's huge. And then lastly, what I'll show is, let's say there's like an image that you like and you know, maybe you did it in the past and you just want those settings back. You could actually just click this guy, reuse prompts and settings, and it'll bring that back. And this is nice because what I usually do is I'll do revisions to a prompt and then just generate options. So let's say for example, I don't want, you know, colorful blooms basking in the, uh, the brilliant sunlight. I want to say gloomy cinematic lighting. And then we are going to remove all this. That way there's nothing conflicting. And then we'll send two of these off. 
And really how I work is I'm always, I never have idle time. I'm just like always sending something. So what I'll do here is if I don't want gloomy, let's just do cinematic and we'll see what comes out. I think the thing that a lot of newbies need to understand when it comes to AI generation, it's very rare that the first version is perfect. It's getting better with time, but it's always good to have backups and like generating versions. Cause I, I feel like the role these days of the designer is you're essentially like curating, you know, think of like a, uh, you know, a senior member on the staff, you know, watching a junior or an intern do their work, you know, you're making sure they're, they're doing a good job and you're curating what's good. What's not. That's kind of what's happening with all these AI images. Like what's a good one. What's a bad one. And you know, as you can see here, just simple changes to the words completely changes the image. So we've got two gloomy cinematic lighting setups, and then we've got two just regular cinematic lightings. So it's crazy what a couple words can do to your overall prompt. So that's why it's so important that you specify detail and you use these enhancers just to make your prompts a little bit better because every single word makes a big difference. So definitely keep that in mind. But if you found any of this interesting, definitely check out the pricing plan. Again, this is 40% off. This is why I'm bringing this up, okay? So shout out to Artlist for letting me know about this because this is this is huge. I mean, usually it's 16 bucks a month, which is still a steal when it comes to like AI generation, right? So less than 10 bucks, you get 120,000 credits. You saw, I was barely making a dent in those credits. I mean, it's very crazy. So link in the description if you want to access this. But if you have any questions about this, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. And if you made it this far, please consider subscribing and liking the video. I'll see you guys next time.